Greetings, true believers. It's your old pal Spider-Man. Good morning, Cadre. Um, today is a month since we lost our uh, dear friend Sue. Um, Sue, uh, she was a good, uh, she was a really good person. Um, she made soap. She made, uh, she was one of the very first artisans um, to make soap for the shaving community. Um, and she was one of our first vendors on the Shaving Cadre. Um, so uh, it was a big shock to us uh, about a week ago when we discovered that uh, she had passed away. Um, I've been communicating with her over email um, for a while and knew that she had some health issues. Um, but uh, kind of thought that uh, things were on the upswing and uh, I guess your body just couldn't take it anymore. Um, so, um, today being a month after her passing, um, this is the day that uh, the cadres decided to use um, her soaps for today and uh, do a shave in her honor uh, across the board for everyone that has uh, some of her soaps. Um, so today I will be using Ye Old Barbershop. Um, I did use her bath soap uh, in my shower this morning, her Brute. So this will be all, all honeybee today. Um, I'll be using my uh, Paladin uh, Honey Noir, the uh, limited edition uh, round table brush. So her soaps are a uh, a melt and pour base. Um, so this is one that you could safely melt in the microwave uh, to move it into a different container. Um, actually, when uh, when she sent me these containers, the the pucks were separate. The pucks were wrapped individually um, and just placed inside the tub. Uh, so I actually put them in the microwave to melt them down into the tub. Um, and uh, I piffed away a puck, but uh, split it up into three different samples. So I just put it in the microwave, melted it down, and poured it into some little cups to uh, make into sample sizes. Um, I. I it's a melt and pour base, but I think she took the standard melt and pour base and added other stuff to it. Um, if you compare the ingredients to like a brambleberry melt and pour base, it's it's a different makeup. Um, so I don't know if she started with that base and then added other things to it, but um, whatever she did add to it, um, really makes it a, a good soap um much better than the uh standard milk and pour bases or maybe the uh just the normal usual melt and pour bases that a couple of uh, soapers out there use. Um, hers is just a little bit different and uh, better lathering, and just a better better shave experience altogether. And uh, I mean, she had a list of like, probably close to a hundred different scents that you could get it. No, she did a, uh, she didn't just make shaving soap. She made uh, other types of lotions and shampoos. Um, mainly her line was geared towards women, but she did have a couple of colognes and shave soaps for guys. But I'll always, ever since I first 
had her soaps. Always enjoyed them. And uh, always kind of felt bad that, uh, you know, I discovered them on, uh, on my first forum. And I joined in 2010. So she had already been making shave soaps for like four years. And had been a part of that community ever since it started. Um, so it was already pretty well established when I discovered her. But then, uh, you know, at the time it was her and two other main um, artisans. And there was a few other ones out there that uh, never really lasted. They, I guess they made good soaps, um, but they for one reason or another, didn't, uh, didn't stay in business, but her and the other two, um, did, and have stayed in business all this time, uh, but, um, there's been an explosion of artisans, and, uh, new soaps have been made, and I always felt bad that, uh, some of the original soapers were kind of forgotten, and, um, weren't recommended as much as other soaps when new people came in. Um, you know, everybody always wanted to, uh, to recommend the newest and the best soaps, but, uh, there's something to be said for easy, simple, and cheap soaps. Uh, her soaps were extremely, um, good bargain and they're gonna last forever and be cheap so they are a really really good bargain I'm gonna have her soaps forever because I stocked up um, but they do last a very long time So I'm using my Rockwell 6C today. I changed out the plate to plate five. And uh, so far I'm really liking the feel of the five better than the four, better than the three. So I feel like it's a little bit closer shave on the first pass. Uh, so, um, I always made it a point to recommend Honeybee Soaps, uh, to folks every chance I could. Um, and usually when I did, uh, some of the old timers that have been around for a while would pipe up and say, yep, good soaps, uh, use them all the time. So, there's nothing wrong with her soaps at all. I mean, they're not as good as the premium soaps that you can find out there today. Um, but as you can see, I'm getting a perfectly adequate lather. May not be quite as slick, may not be quite as cushioning, but perfectly serviceable. And especially for those starting out and those who are on a budget, serviceable at a good price is what you're looking for. And that's really what, uh, what are soaps offered? So, 
was always a fan. I was glad that, uh, glad to have her as a vendor on the, excuse me, on the cadre and, uh, glad I stocked up on her soaps when I did. I already notice a difference uh, in how this is shaving uh, compared to the uh, plate four yesterday. I did cut myself. up and irritating underneath my chin which is kind of a sensitive area for me Yeah, I could, uh, could do a lot of touch up, but a lot of work. Rinses really easily and cleanly. Some uh, some soaps that are super slick, they're uh, a little hard to rinse off your face. These just rinse clean away. Um, so I'm gonna get some witch hazel, but I'm going to add a spray of uh, my blue sugar cologne to it. Kind of make an aftershave splash out of that. And then, uh, of course, just a couple sprays of the cologne. And then I'm going to finish up with the uh, her body butter. Just take a little bit of that and uh, massage it in as a balm. The one thing I wish I could have gotten more of was her body butters. I never really got into them until just recently. Um, and in fact, the last time I ordered from her, uh, she sent that one as a freebie um, because she knew that was one of my favorite scents, the eucalyptus spearmint. I think that was one of the first tubs of soap that I ever got. Uh, let's 
see if I can seal that up. Um, so really enjoy that scent. Um, really enjoy her her body butters. Um, I like it better than the Sterling body butter. Um, still comparing it to Lisa's body butter. Um, Lisa's consistency wise is pretty close to what um, Sue's was, so I I, I like hers too. Um, but that's my shave for the day. Um, I hope you all had a great shave. Um, I hope it took some time to uh, remember Sue and uh, think back to, you know, just some good times that we had on the forum with her. Um, she didn't post that much, but uh, she was really engaging with the forum when she did. Um, you know, she gave us what time she could. Um, and uh, we appreciate it. So uh, thank you all for uh, watching my video and come check us out on the forum. Uh, look me up, I'm Spider and uh, www.theshavingcutter.com. Later guys.